Welcome back everybody to Walks and Wall Street. And today we are gonna be exploring downtown Miami, walking all the way to Brickell. Now the building that you're looking at right now is the very famous 1000 Museum. This is a Zaha Hadid building, which is one of the most famous and most luxurious buildings in all of downtown Miami. If we zoom out to a wide angle lens here, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Extremely unique architecture. And we have many more amazing luxury condominiums that we are gonna be walking past on today's tour. So let's get started. One of the buildings I'm most excited about personally here in downtown Miami is the Aston Martin Tower and Residences. I believe it's about 98% sold out. It's not even finished yet. So this is just another example of the amazing buildings and structures that have been coming to downtown Miami. This is Northeast 9th Street. If you make a right, you can see it from the corner here. Not only do you have the Metro Mover Station, but you also have the Paramount Tower. And at night, this looks amazing because the entire side of the building is all lit up. Right now, it is being lit up in support of Israel after the horrendous terrorist attacks that unfortunately happened over the weekend. Cross Biscayne Boulevard. And we'll check out the water because sometimes during this time of year, you can see dolphins jumping in and out of the water. So this is facing northbound towards Edgewater. You can pretty much take this all the way up. It'll run you as far as you want to go, North Miami Beach, Hollywood, Florida. The building in the distance is very famous. This is the Freedom Tower in Miami. It's my favorite building. This is where the majority of the Cuban immigrants came to the United States. It's an amazing historical landmark and an amazing American landmark. And right next to it, this is the Elser, which is a brand new condominium. They sell fully furnished studios, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and three bedroom apartments. So it's very easy for you to purchase them and use them as short-term rentals when you're not using them.
We are right in front of the arena where the Miami Heat play. This will take you all the way around. You can actually see a jellyfish swimming around in the water right there. Another good shot of 1000 Museum. Beautiful shot of 1000 Museum. Let's head back on Biscayne and go all the way through downtown Miami. And we will walk over the bridge to Brickell. The top of 1000 Museum actually has a helipad.
Tower Mount Tower once again. I believe this is the building that has the most amenities in North America. This is the Freedom Tower. about to pass the Port of Miami and come up on Bayside Marketplace. Right off to your left is Bayside Marketplace. of the major financial buildings, such as the 200 Southeast Financial Center, which is the temporary home of Citadel Securities. Citadel is one of the largest and most successful quantitative hedge funds and market makers on Wall Street. And they've recently relocated their entire headquarters from Chicago, Illinois, to Miami, Florida. Now their temporary headquarters is on the 20th floor of the 200 Southeast Financial Center. But Ken Griffin is in the process 
of building his own mega tall skyscraper in Brickell. This is the main entrance of the marketplace here, which is actually under construction. I think there's going to be a total renovation. It's going to be really nice. side of the Freedom Tower as well as the Paramount Tower. Coming soon to downtown Miami is going to be the tallest residential apartment building south of the One World Trade Center in New York City. It's going to be called the Waldorf Astoria Residences. You have the famous Torch of Friendship here, dedicated in, memori uh, in memory of John F. Kennedy. 35th President of the United States. You'll notice in downtown Miami, there's not too much foot traffic. The vast majority of the foot traffic is in Brickell, particularly near the Brickell city center, Mary Brickell Village. It's also nicknamed the Mini Manhattan. In downtown Miami, the vast majority of people drive. Coming into view, you'll see an elevated train track that is the Metro Mover. And I believe it's actually coming now if you look closely in the distance. This is the free transportation service that will take you from downtown Miami all the way to Brickell.
so right in front of us off to the right you'll see an orangish looking parking garage that's actually going to be demolished and in its place is going to be a brand new class a office tower and mixed use building i believe they're going to be calling it one bayfront plaza i believe and it's going to be right across the street from the 200 Southeast Financial Center, which is directly in the center of the frame. Now this is a really amazing park. It's right on the water and you can see all the way to South Beach. It's really beautiful down there. This is East Flagler Street. Now they're doing major, major renovations to Flagler Street. It actually looks really nice down there. It's not yet open. You can see the police barricades there. It's not open for vehicles, but it is open for foot traffic. And there's tons of new restaurants, tons of new shops, and even a brand new indoor food court. I believe it's called Julia and Henry's, I believe. Off to your left, you'll see the famous Intercontinental Hotel. And if we turn the camera a little bit to the left or the right, in the distance is the Miami Tower or the City National Bank building. And this is what is going to be torn down and its place is going to be an amazing new class A and mixed use commercial office building. And it's going to connect directly with the Metro Mover Station that is right here, right in front of Bayfront Park Station. So the skyline of Miami is going to be changing significantly over the next couple of years. Here's another really good shot of the 200 Southeast Financial Center again. And if you notice just off to the left, this is the Aston Martin Tower and Residences. It is almost complete and it is 98% sold out. We're going to walk past it right now. And you have amazing, amazing views. We're actually getting into my favorite part of Miami right now. You're going to start to notice something. You're going to see a lot of foot traffic pick up. You're going to notice a lot of new development. It's going to look very futuristic. This is officially the entrance to Bayfront Park Station at 150 Biscayne Boulevard. 
you can see the escalator goes up and you can see the passengers waiting for the Metro mover that I believe is coming right now. Right to the left of us is Citibank Tower. And we are coming up on the Miami River. Where you will be able to see Brickle Key. In the distance, this is the W Hotel and Residences. This is in Brickle. This is a very unique building. It's one of my favorites. It has tons of amenities. But directly in front of us is Brickle Key, which is its own island, separate from downtown Miami and separate from Brickle, where it has many luxury condominiums and residences and its own private bridge to get to the island. I think the wide angle camera lens may give you a little bit of a better shot. So what we're looking at right now is Brickle Key. And if we turn the camera a little bit to the left, you can see all the way to South Beach and this is the continuation of the river walk here. Particularly at nighttime, this has really stunning views. And here you have Brickle. You have the W Hotel and Residences. And then right here is the Panorama Tower, which is the tallest residential apartment building in Miami. And last but certainly not least, here it is. This is the Aston Martin Residences. This thing is an amazing, amazing piece of engineering. And it sits right on the water. So if you don't want to drive to your apartment, let's say if you're coming from the Bahamas or something, you can just pull directly up on your yacht and dismount and go up into your apartment.
Novikov. You can see the construction starting for the main facade and I would say the roundabout rotunda at the Aston Martin residences. Just an amazing, amazing building here. And again, 98% sold out, almost 100% sold and it's not even completed yet. Famous chef Gordon Ramsay just opened up his restaurant right off to the right called Hell's Kitchen. I believe this just opened a couple days ago. Coming up on the Wells Fargo Center, this is Southeast 4th Street, but we're gonna veer off to the left and take the bridge over to Brickell. So we are now going to begin our walk from downtown Miami all the way to Brickell. You can see all of these cars are pretty much coming off the bridge from Brickell to downtown Miami. In the distance, you have the Whole Foods, which is right under the Metro Mover here. You have the Epic Hotel and Residences to the left, and you have the JW Marriott directly in front of us. But I want to veer off to the side to give one more shot of the Aston Martin Tower and Residences. You can see the piece hanging off the back. It's actually going to be the Sort of like an infinity pool and lounge up there. It's gonna be amazing. views from the drawbridge are fantastic. Right as we turn the corner, you're gonna see the very famous Miami Tower or the City National Bank building. At night, this looks fantastic, lit up with amazing colors really gives Miami that brand of Magic City. All right.
right, you have Bank of America Tower in the distance. And we are making our way over the bridge to Brickell, the financial district of Miami, Florida. So as you look over the drawbridge, this is the Miami Riverwalk, which is a really, really beautiful and amazing walkway and path that sits right on the river. There's restaurants, there's bars, there's lounges that all line the side of the walkway. And of course you have your yachts and your boats that are parked along the side. bit better angle and a view of the river walk. is the W Miami. Again, the Aston Martin residences. You can see the door to your left, the first door I should say, is the entrance for the residences. So if you own a condo here, rent you would go in that second door and if you're just staying at the hotel you go in the first door but 
You have some really amazing views. The balconies are fantastic here. The amenities are great. And you're in the heart of Brickell. We're gonna make a right on Southeast 5th Street. And this will take us all the way down to the Brickell City Center. But again, all down this street, if we continue to walk straight, all of the major banks. For example, you have Bank of America Tower directly in front of us. And in a few years, you're going to have Citadel Securities, their corporate headquarters. They are building a completely brand new Class A structure right off of Brickell Avenue. One more shot of the W and Icon Brickell. I'm also extremely impressed with how clean they're able to keep this city. Downtown Miami and Brickell, I mean, out of all the cities I've been to across the United States, I would say this is by far one of the cleanest, if not the cleanest city I've ever been to in the US. So coming up, we're gonna make a left, and this is going to take us directly to Brickell City Center, which is a really amazing indoor slash outdoor mall. And then it will run us into the heart of Mary Brickell Village, which I believe they are going to tear down. And in its place is going to be more of these super tall structures that are located all throughout Brickell and downtown Miami. Okay, here we are. You can see the Metro Mover tracks 
right above us. So the Metro Mover that we passed in downtown Miami, if you jump on it for free, it'll take you all the way here. So it's very convenient. It actually drops you off inside. So if it's raining or something, which it usually does here in Miami, it'll drop you off inside Brickell City Center. And this is going to be the site for another brand new super tall. It's called One Brickle City Center. This is completing the iconic Brickle City Center. The impressive tower rises from Miami's best location and beating heart. Everything today's leaders and employees could ever need within reach. Pretty cool, and here it is. So you'll start to notice we're about to walk through the indoor outdoor mall. Also, office tower, too. There's a major WeWork in here. Also, KPMG, a major consulting company. Here it is, the shops at Brickle City Center. As we make a right, you'll be able to see all of the high-end fashion shops like Coach. I believe there's a suit supply in here as well, off to your left. art gallery here. Some public outdoor seating and you have three floors of this too. This reminds me of the Eden Fine Art Gallery that's in Soho in New York as well in South Beach. You have a suit supply off to the right. And then right as you make this right, you'll see one of the oldest bars in the United States. Right on Miami Avenue. I think this is one of these brand new sort of AI drone delivery carts. I think they're beta testing these in Miami as well as Austin, Texas. And all the way in the distance, you'll have the SLS Lux Towers, which are luxury apartment and condos. And this is the second half 
of the Brickell City Center, where you also have the WeWork office, as well as KPMG. And more luxury office, uh, more luxury condominiums in front of you. This will now make our way into Mary Brickle Village. And there's gonna be more notable construction going up too, right where you see the Burger King, that is going to be another super tall. I believe this is new, this is called the Henry. I think this just opened up maybe a few months ago. And you can see we're under the canopy of the indoor-outdoor mall. You have Lucid Motors and an Apple store. This is my personal favorite intersection in all of Miami, mainly because you have this amazing view of the SLS Lux residences. You can see why they call it a mini Manhattan. Okay, we will cross towards Mary Brickle Village.
You have so many different restaurants, shops. And across the street, you have Moxie's. So all of these low-rise buildings that you see here, I believe are going to be taken down. I believe Mary Brickle Village was purchased and in its place is going to be ultra-luxurious Class A office towers for commercial real estate and also residential apartment towers as well. End the tour right here on the corner of Southwest 10th Street. If you enjoyed this walking tour of downtown Miami and Brickell, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking to move to Miami and you need help, feel free to reach out to me at the email address below, and I'd be more than happy to help you find an apartment, single family home, or an investment property here in Miami, Florida. Thanks for watching.